But today, we are living in the age of great exhibitionism. I took this photo of this woman. I shouldn't probably have done it. I was in Athens last weekend on top of the Parthenon. And everybody was photographing everybody else. So, of course, I was photographing the photographers. That's the most fun you can have now on top of the Parthenon. <laughs> You're all on LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, because you want to show yourself off to the world. Hitchcock, of course, would have fetishized this. Hitchcock, with his obsession with voyeurism, both in literal terms, given some of the stories about him, and also in his films. Vertigo, of course, and also Rear Window. Classics of industrial voyeurism. So we are all going onto this network to promote ourselves, to build our identities. It's not just narcissism. We're going onto it because the industrial age is dissolving. We are working for ourselves. We are promoting ourselves. So this platform, this place, this digital world that we're living in is the place where literally we're having to promote ourselves. We are, to quote James Gleick, who's just written a wonderful book on information, we are all becoming information. I was in Athens, as I said, a couple of weeks ago, and I was sitting down with a very well-known, I won't mention her name, a woman who is one of the pioneers of the internet, a good friend of mine, and at one point, we hadn't been drinking, and we weren't talking about marriage, um, <laughs> she opened her computer and showed me her DNA printout. She showed me what diseases she was susceptible to. There were some weird ones like uh, dodgy arm syndrome or something. I can't remember what it was, but it was, it was a weird one. We are literally becoming information. James Gleek, for example, talks about this DNA in an almost Hegelian way. The whole history of human beings has been a narrative of coming to this moment where we literally become information. Hegel talked about the grand realization. All you need to do now is go on the internet and get your DNA and you know who you are. 